and welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I'm very pleased to be joined by functional nutritionist Julie Olson. Julie is the founder of Fortitude Functional Nutrition. And Julie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. How did Fortitude Functional Nutrition begin? Well, it was a process. I've been a nutritionist for about nine years. I met you when I was a nutritionist at Natural mm-hmm. Grocers for six years. Absolutely. And, and then I worked for about three years in functional medicine practices with medical doctors. And I decided to open my own practice. Excellent. What is exactly functional nutrition? How can you define that for us? Well, it's a sophisticated new branch in the field of nutrition that goes way beyond the standard food pyramid stuff, which is wrong, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it is, to say the least. On a deeper level, functional nutrition determines how the biochemistry of the body interacts with nutrients, hormones, and vitamins, identifying deficiencies and surpluses, as well as addressing chemical processes in the body that may be defective or under or even over-functioning. And it's known to to support and complement traditional medical approaches to assist the body's own healing processes. It combines the very best of modern science, clinical research, and critical thinking. In other words, functional nutrition allows you to take back control of your health to make food your medicine. And (laughs) it takes into account food sensitivities, intolerances, allergies, what you're getting too much of, what you're not getting enough of, and teaches you how healing with foods based on your uniqueness. So functional nutrition is then like the architecture of homeostasis. That's what it sounds like to me, how homeostasis is achieved and then maintained. Sure, absolutely, it's part of that. Its foundation is in functional medicine. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a case study, per se, to show you the differences between traditional nutrition or traditional dietetics and functional nutrition. Let's take, for example, a 35-year-old overweight female with irritable bowel syndrome, anxiety, acid reflux, and excess belly fat. Her goal is to lose weight and improve digestion. So the conventional nutrition model, what they would recommend is give her a plan or a generic diet sheet based on her symptoms. Start on low-fat, low-calorie diet and count her calories. Emphasis would be on quantity. Then they would tell her to eat less meat, less sugar, less fat, less sodium, and eat more fruits, vegetables, legumes, fat-free dairy, and grains, along with some processed foods that may be recommended to achieve vitamins and mineral recommendations. And then they would probably increase her exercise to burn 500 calories per day. And that's the conventional nutrition. In functional nutrition... First, before creating a plan, a functional nutritionist such as myself digs deeper to find out what's causing these symptoms. Are there food sensitivities, intolerances, allergies, environmental toxins, Mm -hmm. nutrient deficiencies or imbalances in the timing of pairing foods? Is this person insulin resistant? Does this person have gut dysbiosis, difficulties detoxifying? So you actually take Uh, that extra step to get to the root cause cause. of the problem or the causes of the problem, as you and I both know, often begin far back in the past. Right. And then develop a nutrition and lifestyle plan based on what's causing the imbalance, not based on the symptoms alone. And address the relationship with food and then maybe recommend some functional medicine testing to understand what's going on at the cellular and genetic level. Excellent. Yeah. So on that note, your website is absolutely beautiful, by the way. It mentions that you utilize what it calls a personalized approach aimed at uncovering, like we just talked about, primary imbalances or root causes. Sure. So what is exactly the procedure behind this personalized approach? The personalized approach is based on bio-individuality. Mm-hmm. And I have an, I wrote an article about it on my website you can access mm-hmm. because... There's no perfect food plan for everyone. I don't like to call them diets because they're not diets. They're, they should be a food plan. Absolutely. And the concept of bioindividuality is really the foundation of functional nutrition because every body is unique in its needs and its ability to metabolize the food you ingest. Mm-hmm. And it's really not about what you eat. It's what you ingest and digest and mm-hmm. absorb. Yeah, that's exactly and what I've said for many years. It's not only food that feeds you. It's your thoughts and emotions that play a part of how you assimilate all that you take in. Absolutely, yeah. 
Truly, functional nutrition is highly personalized. It identifies specific factors that are contributing to a collection of symptoms. And as we dig deeper, you know, we might do testing, as I mentioned earlier, to identify issues unique to that individual because really the human body is extraordinary complex system. But by addressing it with functional nutrition, we're essentially putting the body in a place where it can help repair itself. Excellent. Yeah, that's true. So this phased approach, what you call the five Five R's, R's, is essentially a complete overhaul of the GI tract. You could even call it rebuilding the digestive system. So how do you implement this regimen for clients in a practical way? Well, again, it's unique to the individual, but usually we have to start with the remove because there's usually something that's not always obvious Mm -hmm. that's causing these these symptoms. So whether it's removing foods that they're intolerant or allergic to or even parasites or problem bacteria or yeast, we need to get rid of that because Mm -hmm. we can't just put a bunch of supplements on top of it as a a band-aid, but it's not getting rid of the problem. That's right. And then we replace it with digestive secretions to restore proper digestion. And that's where like your enzymes come Mm -hmm. into place. I'm a big fan of digestive enzymes. Sure. You know, HCL, bile acids to help with proper digestion, which is usually compromised, most always compromised when I start with somebody. If I don't see that outright, there's tests, functional labs that can see, you know, what is compromised? Are they compromised with their protein digestion or their fat or carbohydrates? There's so many levels and and layers to pull away. It's like peeling away an onion. Yeah. And then we need to re-inoculate their gut with healthy beneficial bacteria, prebiotics, probiotics. But it depends. I mean, if they've got something like SIBO, small intestinal Mm -hmm. bacterial Mm -hmm. overgrowth, Mm -hmm. that can make it worse. So it's so unique to each individual. And then the fourth phase is repair. So we need to repair the gut. I mean, most likely everyone has leaky gut to some degree. Mm -hmm. I would agree. On my website, there's a free download of a leaky gut guide, and it includes these five R's. Excellent. You can put in your email address and get that. But there's certain supplements that help repair the gut. You've probably heard of not only enzymes are helping, but specifically like L-glutamine, zinc carnosine, marshmallow root. Colostrum. Yep, yep. Vitamin A. You know all about all this. Yep. Lot, and collagen, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all of those things. And then rebalance is which a lot of people and just practitioners forget about. We need to rebalance your whole body and help you make better long-lasting lifestyle choices. And that includes not only the food you eat, but your sleep quality, your stress levels, your work-life balance, social mm-hmm. support, relieving stress. We want to address these because they will negatively affect your health if you don't get these in balance. Absolutely. And they do. Absolutely. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. So how often do you consult with clients after the initial consultation, as in like follow-up appointments? Right. Well, I have three different options, three different packages, but the number of appointments for an individual requires is is really different for anyone because follow-up is crucial for success as a path to great health is never a straight line. Mm -hmm. We need to gather and incorporate new information, monitor for progress, and make adjustments to your plan to make sure you continue moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. This also depends on your goals and your body, the complexities of imbalances and how quickly your body responds. Some clients feel better a few sessions. For others, it may take months or even years. Remember that your health challenges likely took years to develop. So unraveling and healing old problems, it takes time. That's right. And, you know, the appointments also provide support, guidance, education, coaching, and accountability that's essential for making significant and lasting changes because with the dynamic aspect of functional nutrition, it really takes a number of appointments because you cannot always be predicted how you'll do. And for that, that mm-hmm. reason, as I said before, I have some packages that help. Yeah, and this is something I often tell my listeners, especially when I'm talking about something like candida sure. or just rebuilding the gut, whether it's SIBO or whatever it is, that you need to be patient and you need to be persistent. Sure. You know, and this is something that I learned myself in my recovery as a sugar addict many, sure. many years ago, which is that battling candida, which I certainly did to myself with my sugar consumption. Sure. It took a long time and I needed to hit it every day and be persistent. And so I guess one of the big lessons of this is uh, persistence and patience. Right. Very. And try to do it alone or by Dr. Google. It's really an uphill battle. It you is. You end up spending yeah. more time and money doing That's right. it that way. Yeah, it sure is. So it's good that there's people like you who are trying to make a difference and make it more practical and understandable for people in general. So that's good. Very good. So Julie, what does it take to practice functional nutrition? Well, 
it requires in-depth knowledge and critical thinking skills, along with obtaining additional education, certification, and training. As I've done, I'm actually triple board certified. I'm a certified nutritionist. Mm -hmm. I'm board certified in holistic nutrition. And I'm also a certified gluten-free practitioner. Excellent. But it really also takes research, evaluation abilities, listening skills, and experience to determine root causes. Of course, yes. Which I got through working in functional medicine practices. But even registered dietitians that want to practice functional nutrition have to go on to get, like I said earlier, more education, certifications, and, and training skills. Because right. It's, right. it's not just It's a lifelong process. Sure. Yeah, it sure is. So on that note, then, one tool that your website discusses is something called the Functional Medicine Matrix, and it's also known as the Living Matrix. What is this Living Matrix, and how do you utilize it in determining a client's needs? Well, that's a good question. It's a intake tool for organizing the client's history chronologically. It actually puts together a timeline, which is a graphical representation that allows us to identify factors that predispose, provoke, and contribute to pathological changes and dysfunctional responses with each client. In this way, I'm able to view relationships among events, which can reveal cause-effect relationships that might otherwise go unnoticed. By uncovering your whole lifespan, to your current state of health. And then once we see your personal timeline, you'll have a better understanding of why the date entries we ask for and all the symptoms, illnesses, conditions, and full family history are very important part of the process. By documenting the actions, events, and environmental influences that have occurred in your life, it allows for the construction of the meaning or the big picture view of how your body got to where it is today. So this shows you kind of like a medical record does, where you've been and also where you're going. Sure. And also helps to keep you on the path of where you're going too. We organize it into three sections. The first section are the antecedents. So those are any factors that predispose the client to being unhealthy. These may be genetic or environmental, including nutrition, physical fitness, and so forth, family history. And then we have triggers. Those are factors that provoke the signs and symptoms of conditions. Some examples are infection, trauma, environmental toxins, or even being intolerant or allergic to certain foods. And then mediators, which are any factors that contribute to clinical changes and dysfunctional responses. These mediators can include biochemical factors like hormones, or they might be psychosocial factors like the client's thoughts and beliefs. Right, yeah. And then we put them into a matrix with the seven core imbalances, which are assimilation, defense and repair, energy, biotransformation and elimination, transport, communication, and structural integrity. It puts together like a spider web. And this section also organizes each client's modifiable lifestyle factors into five categories. Sleep and relaxation, exercise and movement, nutrition, stress, and relationships. Mm -hmm. So our approach connects the dots between imbalances and symptoms, diving into root causes, which is the integral part of our program. So this living matrix really helps me tailor each client's lab recommendations, personalized protocol, customized meal plans, and targeted supplement programs. Yeah, it sounds like it's pretty comprehensive. It's very comprehensive, and it's used by many functional medicine doctors and practitioners all over the world. That's probably what you need to do to see the whole picture. It does. It really helps get the big picture right from the beginning. And then from there, we start peeling the onion and digging deeper. Very good. One guiding principle behind Fortitude Functional Nutrition seems to be epigenetics, which is, of course, the effect of external environments upon our genes. That's kind of like what we were just talking about there. How do you incorporate epigenetics into your assessment of a client's situation? Does it go beyond just merely asking them, hey, you know, what's going on in your life? What kind of activity do you get in the day? Social, like physical, all that. Events in your distance past, even your childhood years, even how you were born, Mm -hmm. where you were C-section or not, that has a big influence on your gut. Enormous, yeah. Um, But that provides clues to solving the puzzle and identifying the root causes. And though we may not think so, events that occurred before or at our birth, really, like we were just saying, play just really play a huge role. Oh, yeah. 
Um, and scientists are discovering that our genes and the way we are expressing them are influenced by what our ancestors may have experienced several generations ago. In fact, this discovery has spawned this whole new scientific discipline, epigenetics, to understand how nutrition, lifestyle, environment, and events in our daily life influence gene expression. But let me simplify it for you. Yeah. Even Dr. Oz says that our genes load the gun. But what pulls the trigger, you know? Yeah, our conscious decisions. Right. Our food choices, Absolutely. our lifestyle, right. our sleep habits, our thoughts. Who we associate with, what right. we do. So epigenetics is saying we can actually alter those genes. We don't have to pull that trigger. Yeah. We're in the driver's seat is what you're exactly. saying. Yeah. We can be in us. the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. It's old thinking to think, oh, I have those genes, so I'm going to get... You know, I'm going to get diabetes. Yeah, just, just because I'm, I'm disposed to cancer, man, and right. I'm going to get it for sure. Not true. Not true. Not true at all. Good. I like that. So as a practical first step toward a journey with Fortitude Functional Nutrition, you offer prospective clients a complimentary phone conversation. What exactly do you cover in this introductory phone conversation? Well, we discuss your health struggles, difficulties, and goals. And then I share my philosophy and structure for how I can best help you achieve your goals. But it's really an opportunity to also see if we're a good fit because there's no one-size-fits-all program for every person. This will help us determine the best course of action for you. I don't take on everyone as a client. I am very selective. Mm -hmm. But we really will dive into more of the specifics of your condition and the intake case analysis. And so on that note then, uh, for the benefit of my international listeners, how can prospective international clients contact you? Sure. I work with people from all over the world, England, Haiti. I have for years, especially now, virtually, it's, it's very easy. In fact, people that live in my same neighborhood would rather just do it virtually. Right, yeah. Um, so you can email me. I utilize Zoom, Skype. It, it's actually very, very simple. Excellent. Julie, thank you so much for joining us today. What's one thing that all of us can do right now to improve our health? I'm going to answer that really with a quote by Thomas Edison. And he said that the doctor of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs, but rather will cure and prevent disease with nutrition. Excellent. And that is indeed the doctor of the future. Contact info for Fortitude Functional Nutrition is up on the screen and in the description box below. Contact Julie Olson to begin your journey to optimal health. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.